Hello my beautiful friends, I hope you guys are doing amazing. In case you're new here, welcome to the family and thank you so much for joining us. I actually just realized when I was editing another vlog that you'll obviously see before this one that I never actually say my name during the intro because I automatically assumed um, people would know my name because it's the name on my channel. But in the event that you don't know, my name is Steph, okay? Okay. Today is Saturday, the 2nd of April. What I've been doing today, really, I've just been editing a vlog. But unfortunately for me, KPLC said, you don't need electricity. What you need is no electricity. So, on top of our already non-functional Wi-Fi, we've just been having our electricity just flaring up and down. The lights go, they come, they go, they come. Right now, they've gone and they've said, to lose. They said, you know what? You don't even need electricity, so... We don't have electricity at the moment, so I've not been able to finish editing the vlog, but that's that. Um, I was actually also shooting some Insta stories on my phone, and my phone is also going to die. But well, I'm even shooting with this camera, I'm shooting with my main camera, but I don't even know if you tell because my vlogging camera, I forgot to charge the battery, and there's no electricity, so... It's like we're back to the same problem. Yeah, tomorrow I have something. Tomorrow is actually a very exciting day because one, I'm going to be shooting a collaborative style shoot with Yasmin Mohammed. I'm sure you guys know her, Little Nomad. One of the best and most stylish hijabi babes that I know. That girl and clothes. Eh? There's something she does. So it's always an honor to obviously collaborate with like-minded creatives. I also did one with Kayla. Thank you so much for the love. And yeah, so I have to do one with Yasmin. And this time we're, go we're going to be doing color, which is super exciting. So right now I want to go and at least pack some of the things that I'm going to need for the shoot because I don't want to be doing it last minute considering it's going to be such an early morning shoot. We have to, the shoot starts at 7.30. So there's that. So I need to be able to plan myself early. So I want to go and pack. Hopefully the electricity comes back because I need to steam two of my shirts that I'm going to be wearing tomorrow and maybe the trench. I guess that's it. Let's go pack as I plan like how the rest of my day is going to go two days later my love language is your time and attention won't you give some of it to me I've been lonely lately I've been feeling neglected And I want you to show me Can we get back On the same page Tonight can we stay And why don't you Talk to me Hello my beautiful and trusted and good friends I hope you guys are doing great um, Today is Wednesday the 6th of April uh, Not me going out of focus. Um, I'm trying to remember the last time when we saw each other or the last time I vlogged I believe it was when I was packing to go for the shoot. So the shoot was, was definitely a success I was shooting with Yasmin on a color collaboration style So if you are a lover of color or you're itching for color in your closet Keep your eyes peeled because I'm sure you guys would love it and it was being shot by Fidel who also shot my collaboration with Kayla, which you guys have openly loved and received. And I truly, we truly love that and appreciate that. And so, yeah, so that was, we, I basically left in the morning around 7 and we met at 7.30 and the shoot went well. If anything, I unfortunately was not able to vlog. I am going to like maybe insert here or here some you know few clips of what I managed to get behind the scenes because it, it's it can be somewhat difficult trying to get behind the scenes whilst also shooting and then also it's in the morning and you know I, it was just tough if I'm being honest and then um now I actually was not able to vlog consequently after because see we were we had just concluded the shoot and Yasmin and I were walking to the car so that I was going to order my Uber and she was going home and please tell me why we unfortunately walked into so there was like a group of like for lack of a better word, they were being very rowdy and noisy for that time of day but um yeah there were just some group of people who I think they were taking like a group photo and we hadn't realized so we walked right into their shot because it was it was just on the streets and I when I realized that I was like oh my god I'm so sorry 
and then the photographer was like no no worries it's okay you could pass and please tell me why some bit as we were passing and now obviously we were in heels i was actually in like stiletto heels and i was wearing like my really long chiffon orange pants which are like to the ground long and so even throughout the shoot i sometimes was stripping over not necessarily tripping but like my shoe would get caught you get the picture and please tell me why this babe at that time she just started shouting she was like tembeni araka very rudely and dismissive and i was like girl not you in your t-shirts and tie I was about to throw some shade but anyways um and yeah so she said that and evidently now we were even like hurrying up and af after we left them and we were just like literally a stone throw away from the vehicle or from the car please tell me why guys i almost tripped like i was this close to touching the ground and unfortunately because i did trip and in heels but thank god for yasmin because i literally held on to her for my life i ended up spraining my foot especially the area around my leg my ankle and that's really my foot and it was so bloody painful guys i literally just i was like i took off those shoes immediately i took off the shoes and i was like girl I, this is too much and i was literally limping and yasmin was like oh obviously she was like she's sorry and stuff because we were, we were doing great until i tripped to my end but yeah so she was kind enough to like drop me home i came home i got fast down and i managed to get an ankle brace and i'm just gonna show you guys because it was super painful but right now the pain has evidently reduced this is what we are working with it is my left foot so but right now the pain has reduced but i also can't be like on my feet for too long can't put too much pressure on that so that was ha that's what happened literally the one where we sprained our food should be the title of this vlog anyway so after that um but the shoot was a success so we can say it was almost worth it after that i had the event to attend to support our sister tara she has her own hustle called called her own um gig called the sidebar and it, this was now in collaboration also with other people so yeah we the event was at popote gardens it's called siesta sundays they're gonna be having it i think every month every sunday of them not no every, every month on a sunday there'll be a siesta sunday if that makes sense like i think every month one of the sundays is gonna be a siesta sunday which was so much fun there was food there was drinks there was music like i had such a blast and i was there literally with my uncle brace i said fashion you know i said spread your food but make it fashion okay i'm just gonna insert some photos here maybe some videos and it was so much fun unfortunately i actually completely forgot to vlog because when we got there we put my our stuff in our friend's car and so yeah i completely forgot about and i think also sometimes i just want to be in the moment sometimes always having to like vlog and do all of these things takes away from the moment and especially with the week that i had i really just genuinely wanted to have a just just not it was you can say it was accidental but it had some intention to it like i wasn't mad that i didn't vlog but yeah i'm just gonna be sharing with you guys or maybe you can just go check kate did a reel so you could also go check that out and yeah um so today is wednesday monday what did i do monday i was doing a lot of editing and i was editing i think the 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 vlog you will see before this one and then on tuesday yesterday my sister and i went to to safaricom we went to update our same registration i don't know if you guys have done that i think the deadline is the 14th of april if you haven't then your line will get switched off and that will be ghetto so um if you see this vlog before then then go and make sure you have updated your same registration it's a very quick and easy process so yeah but there was a line it was quite a line the point of action today is shooting and editing content for my instagram if you don't follow me there girl you are missing out so yeah that's what i was gonna do shoot some content i was supposed to shoot three reels but i i i as much as i prefer bulk filming sometimes it's, it's a lot so i think i'm only gonna do two today then i'm gonna do another one maybe some two more this week so that i have stuff to post because this week i already have stuff to post but yeah that's all i'm gonna be doing now i don't know if i'm gonna give you guys a behind the scenes maybe i will maybe i won't that will just depend but yeah that's that that's that i'm gonna see you guys when i, when I beat this face <laughs> but i'm so happy oh i'm 
but I'm happy that I'm getting to like really continue creating consistently. So yeah, and I think even collaborating with these creatives even spikes up or adds some more creative juice to me. So yeah. Much, much later. Hello friends, we have just finished the makeup part. I really like doing those inspirational talk through. It does take a while because you obviously have to memorize everything that is being said and make sure it's lip sync and you're doing multitasking at the same time as you do your makeup. But I love today's makeup look. You got the mess at the back, it's not even much of a mess, it's just clothes that I've put there. But yeah, so right now I'm getting ready to shoot something. Super excited for this one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be doing like a monochromatic blue look and um, you know, from there to do it. It was never going to be easy, but it needed to be done. But I really like how my makeup has turned out. I did like a simple, you know, I didn't do like eyeshadow and like a simple lip. This was like a 15 minute, ordinarily this would be like a 15 minute beat. But anyways, that's besides the point. I am going to be doing some unboxings or rather like some new purchases that I have. I really want to start doing like those more cinematic type videos. And so I got like some new beddings and I'm going to unbox that later. 48 hours later. Hello my beautiful friends. New hair who this. Ordinarily this would have been the start of a... So we have company. <laughs> ah, come say hi. Come say hi to a Bairo City. Come say hi. Say hi. Hi. What's your name? Keegan. Sawa. Bye. Bye. As I was saying, ordinarily this would have been the beginning of a new vlog, but unfortunately, I think the last time you guys saw me was when we were shooting and the shoot went well. I'm going to insert some pictures here. I also did a styling video which I can't wait to show you guys. So I finished shooting and then we were supposed to cut to the next day when I'm doing an unboxing. Unfortunately, um, something happened with my SD card. My SD card, according to Healy and Kate, has died. I didn't know SD cards have shelf lives. So all that footage of the unboxing went so i really wanted to get into doing like cinematic type videos and i wanted to like also get some new bedding so i'm just gonna show you guys i had unboxed but not because they're really on my bed you just you guys are just gonna have to see them from my bed i got all of this stuff by the way from the errands girl she usually buys for people stuff from kamkonji or what is that place called easily like wholesale so usually the prices are very affordable which would be great especially for people who are moving out etc so i these are just my kawaida two bed pillows but then i got the plain white pillowcases and then i also got throw pillows and their pillowcases these pillowcases are so lovely so transparent uh -huh. and then for some bougie bourgeois i got myself a sausage pillow i don't know what people do with these pillows but yeah i got myself a sausage pillow this duvet yeah it says it's it's for six by six originally my bed is a five by six but i got a six by six because i wanted it like longer and bigger and to drip to the ground and yeah i purchased two new candles from afrili scented and these are their 330 grams i think they have they have like different let's say measurements this one is the salted caramel and macadamia flavor and this one is the dondoya vanilla it's just a pure vanilla flavor and both of them plus delivery i think came to 28.50 so do the math i also got a kettle got it from kengla utensils discovered them on instagram through yv candy she does a lot of home decor content and she's really good at it so yeah that was it was like those my whistling kettles and you can actually put it on the stove i got it for 2900 as well Baby, the sound of you. Hello my beautiful friends today Today is the 12th of April and it's actually this is the week before the Easter weekend and yeah so the POA for today it's actually a few minutes past 11 I am actually planning to film a sit down video I want to start a series here on my channel called makeup therapy and it's not new obviously because there's so many people who've done makeup therapy but from my understanding it's always been just people talking and doing their makeup but for me i want just to have like topics to discuss so that not only is this channel you know some form of entertainment or escape for you but also informative and i also actually want to make like good use of the platform that i have so 
we shall be discussing in the next one you'll obviously see it before you see this video but it's gonna be a video about dating content dating a content creator and other stories and i just recently learned that it's actually a thing there's actually a whole should we say controversy around dating content creators and etc and the people who are these days content police i hope you guys will enjoy that video anyway so that's what i want to do as you guys can watch it now i got my nails done my nail tech is effie her page is fat nail slayer she does such an amazing job guys these are my actual nails like the length these are my all natural nails my nails could never grow or if they did they were very brittle and weak but effie did what she gotta do and my nails since i started um since she started doing my nails um my nails have seen tremendous growth they are so strong and the fact that these are my actual nails you guys are not even ready because all of a sudden i'm gonna do you even see like and somebody like a little cow print it's so cute and i absolutely love it so that's what i'm gonna be doing today i think the last time we spoke was when i was showing you guys the new bedding so yeah i've really been enjoying that as well so yeah, that's the plan of action today i just need to film i'm really trying to be consistent for one and i'm also trying to like seriously grow my platforms and if that means filming every now and then and having like a backlog of content so that i don't have i don't have i'm never in a position that i don't have anything to post or i'm waiting to film to post i'm going to be like ahead so yeah there's that that's basically it let me tell you guys then do the ride from where because i came by i came back with a mat and this the shenanigans that that do the guy has the need and then also we've passed like three or four petrol stations from living town to this side for home and the the should we say the lines or the queues they were even like on the highway cars in the opposite direction trying to go and get fuel so um i do not i do not wish to be a driver at this point <clears throat> so yeah anyways and that doozy guy guys he was you know i understand that yes this is their means of livelihood but i believe that some of them they actually could not care to dark swish tales um when it comes to you know road safety and the rules and regulations because this guy the way he was pelekaing me and even when he shook me i was like sikwana raka by the way i was in no hurry to get home like that because the whole time i was just like guy guy like we were literally passing through cars and paka was like i i am in no hurry i'm in no hurry sam glory be to the heavens because we i have reached home safe because guy let me tell you do this they can be a menace but anyways that's that um i actually got my hair done and i know you saw this when i was showing you the beddings i had filmed but then i unfortunately lost the footage so that was that but yeah i just went for a, like a new retouch restyle these vlogs have really served me because this um this is fa i'm five months in with this hair and i love it I can't even think of at going back to braiding and if anything I genuinely think I'll have them removed and maybe reinstalled cuz I think you can only have them for like 9 months and then yeah so maybe I'll hit the 9 month mark and then I will reinstall them maybe we could do a different color maybe we could do some highlights something but this hair has really served me honestly I've never felt more like Harley <laughs> baby <laughs> and the little curls ah oh, i absolutely love them so yeah i don't have to think about hair this is why because a lot of the times for me um my hair does tend to last but then i usually hit that feeling of i don't know and then having to sit in the salon for hours i sat in the salon for hours and i got these locks done and it was very quick actually i remember telling you guys in the previous vlog and since then my retouches probably just take an hour an hour or two max and that's it and i'm out of that salon so if you're trying to get your locks done if you, this is an investment you're willing to do um go to jerome locks tell them stephanie Yana.
sent to you anyways i one thing about me you know i can speak and rumble until the kingdom come i have received some packages so i'm also gonna be unboxing that but maybe tomorrow today is my good friend kinsey's birthday kinsey if you're watching this happy birthday my sister i love you so much and i genuinely hope that this year you know you get your granted all your heart's desires and and, and just all blessings for you my sister yeah so we're gonna be celebrating her tomorrow so that's what tomorrow's work is gonna be about maria i guess i'm just gonna catch up with you guys later when i've done my makeup if not i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow okay okay early the next morning hello my beautiful friends today is um when is today thursday a few minutes past 10 actually I'm just here sitting with my trusted planner. I got a really good planner actually from Essie. Essie note, look at that. It has Winnie the Pooh and then at the back it reads, it takes as much energy to wish as it does to plan. And can I just say that this planner, I usually have a planner app called Todoist, but there's something about writing things down, which I absolutely love. This is the big one. It, it goes for... 900 bob like some of the things that i need to do today but yeah it has the to-do list things to get done appointments cleaning other top three priorities what you're grateful for habits what i've learned today snacks food stuff that you eat and then lastly mood and exercise and health and water intake so i and then it also has this clear page so you can be able to write like whatever but yeah as you guys can tell from the list i have so much to do i need to close off this vlog and edit it if anything for these past two weeks i've really been consistent on both my socials i'm on a content marathon if that makes any sense i'm trying to hit especially 10k here we're on the road to 10k so if you're seeing this please join the family subscribe it means a lot but that's not necessarily the main goal i mean it, it is one of the goals but just to continue to make sure that i am enjoying what i'm doing that i'm improving my quality that i am you know taking a day at a time because i also don't usually want to constrain myself too much to i need to hit these numbers by this time you know but it, it would be great to do so so yeah i need to also do a retro roast in case you don't follow me we love doing retro roasts for the kids choice awards i need to shoot and edit a lot of stuff today so i have i think a makeup reel to shoot and an I'll, I'll get ready with me to shoot as well so there's that um, i was supposed to i posted the nails reel at 10 so it's already went up as i showed you guys how my nails did so let's pick it up from where we left off i last spoke to you guys on tuesday and i was bringing you guys up to speed and i had plans for yesterday but kplc literally said uh, sorry is, is that plans i hear you making unfortunately for you those are, those are gonna be dreams wishes because um i slept pretty late uploading the video you remember the video that i talked to you guys about the makeup therapy series thank you guys so much and for like your feedback if you have missed it i'm gonna link it here or in the description box but yeah so there's that and then um i finished uploading it and you know it also has to run the checks and everything so by the time it was done it was almost a few minutes to midnight steamers but had twice so i had to um you know hotspot from buy data and hotspot from and you know guys data from safaricom is a scam it is genuinely a scam you will put data and the next thing you know it's already done so i had to keep buying and rebuying and rebuying and then hotspotting as well my phone had also not charged so my battery was going down by the time i was done guys still as to my pot i'm literally in the dark with a candle it was the ghetto and my phone is at seven percent and then I said, I ah, you know, it's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave one of my room lights on so that when the lights come, I'll just put my phone to charge and everything else. Shock on you, the lights did not come, even when I woke up. They did come around 9. They were here for like 30 minutes. And then by 9.30, the lights were gone. They came back at 6 p.m. Now you tell me what I was supposed to do with my day, especially i needed to film i needed to edit and i need electricity i need wi-fi everything of mine was dead cameras laptop phone killer kitu nothing was when i tell you friends i just napped i literally took a long nap I, I i think i finished doing the lunch dishes and then i slept from like three until like now i woke i was woken up when the lights came back because i was like well what the hell are we gonna do now but that's besides the point so obviously today i charged everything 
and yeah so i just really want to shoot i have also um upgraded my lens so usually i shoot with my let me even show you guys this the camera that i'm holding now this is the canon g7x mark ii and that's a very frequently asked question that i get what do you use for your vlogs i use my canon g7x mark ii though i would love for someone to either get the mark three because it does have the inbuilt mic i mean it has the audio jack that you can like insert a mic and then because this one doesn't this one the microphone is inbuilt and then oh you just get the sony's the sony vlogging cameras are beautiful and we are working towards that so for my sit down and content videos i use the canon eos 250d with the 18 to 55 mil lens and then i also use my I also use my 75 to 300 mil lens, especially when I'm trying to shoot like up close videos and all of that stuff. This is beautiful, but it's very big and heavy. So that is the tech that I use. I also have like a mic, which obviously mics are just mics. But yeah, I use the Boya mic 3000, I believe. The one that has the poof thing. Yeah, so that's the tech that I use for the tripod. A lot of this equipment I got from Robbie's Electronics. And so, uh, even for my SD cards, I get them from there. So I've also just made a purchase. My account right now is screaming because this was just almost 20K. But it is a business. My friend Kate is always telling me, you know, it's a business expense. You know, and yeah, so... I got a new SD card because my other SD, I usually have two SD cards most of the times, but one died. It died on me, but it, I think it was also an old SD card. Like I've had it for so long. So there's this and I got the 32 gigabyte. And then I got a new lens. I really wanted to test this lens out because I've been seeing so much, um, should I say like reviews about it? And this is the Canon EF 50 mil f1.8 lens. Super excited to try this out. Hopefully it was a good buy. And yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna be doing. That's really it. Um, yeah, so that's the new tech that I got. I need to get like makeup, uh, but mostly lashes and maybe like a cleansing balm. Yeah, so I don't know if I will order that as well today. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys the new makeup that I got from Luxurian Beauty, a blusher and a liquid highlighter. If I didn't, maybe I'll show you collectively when I do get the other, the lashes and the, and the, what is it called? And the cleansing balm. My mind is just all over the place. But yeah, let me unbox this, test this lens out and do all of those things. And then i'm gonna catch up with you guys later maybe after i've already done my makeup and like made progress with my to-do list because it's a lot i actually wanted to clean my room today but i can't come and kill myself i'll do it tomorrow so i'm gonna catch up with you guys later <laughs> To the world anyway so i finished the first reel and it is currently 209 i need to speed fast through the rest of the two reels and then yeah i didn't even get the lashes guys um i said i'll just get them either tomorrow or the week after that so i've actually shot with the lens i absolutely love it and yeah i'm just gonna keep shooting i don't know maybe you're gonna i'm gonna carry you guys along for behind the scenes but if not i'll catch up with you guys later <laughs>
happens oh it's actually after midday and i'm still in my gown i just woke up feeling very yeah so today's good friday actually so happy easter guys um the plan for today really i'm just chilling i need to edit this vlog and i think i'll just watch some netflix and eat ice cream i wanted to order in and then i remember today is friday so i can't eat meat because i'm catholic i want to scream because i really just want to sit and eat pesto and just anyways i think i'll just have some ice cream as i watch netflix i'm watching this series called the spanish princess it's like the sequel to the white princess i absolutely love the white princess because of jody coma um i think around 2018 no after 2019 2020 i was obsessed with a show called killing eve and jody coma was um a female assassin called Villanelle and so seeing her play such a different character and she plays it so well it's just wow and I'm just obsessed with Jodie Comer anything Jodie Comer I'm there but yeah so I guess that's what I'll do um I I know I mentioned there was supposed to be like a haul a makeup haul previously but I didn't even manage getting those things so maybe i'll get them in the next vlog but yeah i do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog um i really didn't like go anywhere or anything but i do hope you guys enjoyed it anyways guys i will see you in the next one in case you haven't subscribed please subscribe on the road to 10k and it would mean the most to me as it would mean to the friends who we are waiting to join the family so thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in the next one bye